What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Simple Media. Today we're gonna we're gonna be doing a review on the TTS, the Two Trees TTS Twenty Five Laser Engraver. I've had this machine for six months or so, and I think it is a badass little machine. There's so many different options that it has to offer for the price that you pay for it. So follow along. As I walk you through different steps, different materials, and how to use the thing. Because when I first got it, I didn't know anything about it. And now I want to inform you guys on how to use it. So this is your um, desktop view of the laser engraver. When you order this laser engraver, it comes with this app right here, or you might have to download it from their site. It's called Laser Gimbal. There's other options out there as laser um, softwares that you can buy. This one's free, comes with a machine. And I personally think it works fine. So you open up this laser gimbal. It's going to look like this. Go up here. Click connect. You hear that sound? That's your, your laser's connected. So you go from here. You go into file. You go into open file. These are all presets. So we're going to go back. I want to show you guys something that... Um, we'll go logo... Simple logo, we'll open up this simple logo. So on this, there's a couple different settings. Um, depending on what you wanna do, you, you mess around with this a little bit. There's, there's right here, there's vertical, diagonal, horizontal. Um, with this, I've noticed that if you have like a, a spot up top that the laser is going to go a bunch of times like on on the vertical section right here the laser goes up here a bunch of times and the end result it'll burn that so i on you gotta check out your um logo and see exactly what style is going to benefit it best um i i do horizontal for this logo because like i said there's a point up here so it, it'll always run up there and then it's at some point this this starts to burn um so from here, you're gonna go next. On this, this is just gonna be a, uh, it's gonna go onto a four by four little cork sheet. So try to try to justify what a four by four is in, in um, the size setting right here. Four by four is like one hundred, roughly a hundred millimeters. So I put it in 90 and 89 just so it's not running the edge. Um, you have your engraved speed. This one's set to 3000. You have your laser mode, constant dynamic. Constant's more of like a cutting laser. Um, we'll get into that a little later. So I run dynamic. Your power mode right here goes up to 5000. Um, for cork, you want to run it a little less. So we're going to go from here, we're going to go to create. And on this, it's going to show you exactly what it's going to engrave, the layout. This is where the laser is. This is where, this, this is where um, it's going to go to start. Uh, box right here. I always hit my linear up a little bit. I've noticed that um, it makes it more crisp. It makes the, it makes the burning process a little more crisp. So from here, we're gonna go to play and watch the laser.
your file, you're going to go up here um, to save project and then um, go back over. I have an engraved file. Right here, finalized, simple logos, cork, and then just right here, simple logo, and I would type in four by four. And then save. Now every time you go do, you do that cork four by four, You'll have that preset saved. That's the cool thing about this software that you have right here. Um, so with the preset saved, we're gonna move on to the leather patches. Um, we're gonna engrave leather patches. The setting's a little different. And everything you do, you're gonna have to have a trial um, patch to kinda, or core to kinda figure out what setting works best for you. The height of the laser is a big, plays a big role in um, getting the perfect burn and uh, I will show you guys all of that the height I'll give you a, a settings pop up here after a while so we are gonna go to back to simple to leather these are two by two um, leather patches We'll click this one. This is, like I said, this is one of the presets already. So we click that. It'll pop up right here. Um, line to line tracing. We'll go vertical. We'll go to next. So you'll see on this one with the leather patchings that the. Um, Settings are a little different. The engraved speed is 3500, the power is 1000, and the um, size is a little smaller because we're dealing with a two, a two and a half inch by two and a half inch leather patch instead of a four and a half or four inch by four inch square cork. So then we'll go create and we will press play. Oh. First you want to frame it. Before you press play, you want to frame it. So we'll frame. Frame. Once you get it, once you get it centered, then you'll just press play. So we're going to be engraving on a little wood palette. Um, with wood, it's a little different. It's a little more hard than the cork and the leather. So the settings are going to be a little bit more different. But we're going to go over here. We're going to open file. We're going to click the wear symbol. We're going to open it. <clears throat> we're going to run this one vertical with smaller images. Vertical runs a lot better. We're going to go to next. The engraving speed is uh, 1000. Uh, I like this setting. So engraving speed 1000, the power 250%, uh, the size 40. We're gonna raise this up to 45. And we're gonna create. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna frame it. And we are going to burn it. Okay, 
so now I'm going to show you guys how to cut with the engraver, the settings on the engraver. Um, since it's not so powerful, it doesn't cut just in one pass, so you have to run a bunch of different passes, but I'll, I'll explain that throughout this process. So we're going to go to open, open file. We're going to go to this simple right here. So on this setting, you're going to um, choose to the vector eyes file and it's going to give you this layout right here um, so once you chose the vector eyes file then you're going to go to next you're going to go right here you're going to go to constant power border speed i like to put at 70 and the power i like to put at 5000 the size we're going to go 150 and we will go to create at this point once you have this i like to click this in the linear i like to go we'll go 186 i like to put it up further power full power um so at this point you'll see how it goes once you have all this dialed in you're gonna go um, i do five passes and then you're going to frame it.